Tony, uh, this bloke here, he was unbelievable. We kicked three goals. Prestia as well, he was able to get on at the end of three goals in a row for Richmond and really get uh, the ascendancy going their way. Um, through the midfield, they were dominant. So uh, we talk about Prestia, but it was also uh, the likes of Bolton, uh, Jacob Hopper, who we see here with a nice little right foot banana, and Tim Taranto, who uh, some would say is underperforming at the moment, but uh, he certainly uh, silenced a few people yesterday. I wouldn't be getting too excited given they were down in the third quarter of a, of a yeah. game against a team which has been horrendous yeah. all year and, and has lost another yeah. player on the run in, in Jai Cully. Yeah, well, they had to, though. I mean, if they lose that game, what's the story as well? I mean, uh, they, yeah. they still have to win it. They were OK. They were OK. But, Kane, let's talk about Tim Taranto because he started the year and his disposal wasn't great, but you've said that he's not in the top 150 players in the competition. I think he's leading Richmond's best and fairest at the moment. He had a poor start with his use, but I think he's bounced back after that and he's been pretty influential. Do you stand by the fact that he's not in the hundred and top 150 players in the comp? Yeah, it depends which way you look at it. If I he's said, had another 30 on kick two. Yeah, he played against a, a side that was, you know, as Damo said, wasn't that strong. Uh, look, he's he's playing a role. Though. He's playing a role for them. If I, if I'd flipped that and said he's in the top 15 to 20% of players in the game. Is that less provocative? Because that's what it is. Like top 150 is 15 to 20%, you're in the top echelon of the game in that percentage factor. So I think the way that you look at it, which I tried to explain yesterday, just, you know, you got to flip it to, to, to... Has he been the Tigers' best player this year? Um, I don't think he, I think he has. I don't think he hurts you. I mean, they're, they're a side that is, what, bottom four at the moment, so it's not that difficult to be their best player. He's going to get a lot of opportunities because he plays 90% in the midfield. If you're not getting 30, you're probably not deserving of your spot in there. I just think his ball use has hurt him. Well, here's what Dimmer said yesterday. Oh, look, I, I know Kane obviously really well, and you guys know how the media works. We're a really big club. And you know what happens? He doesn't generally believe that that comment, but what he does is he says it to get clicks. Uh, that's how the media work. Surprise. So, so can I just on that, like, again, answer that, please, because people, there are people out there, Damien said it, that you say what you say now to get clicks. Now, I know you well enough to know that that is not the case, but you, you tell Damien you don't do it that way and, and tell other people who also share that. Yeah, I don't need to tell anyone anything. Well, you I, do after I, what I, he said. Well, publicly. I've never said anything for the sake of it. I've I never that. said anything for just getting a click. I, I don't get paid per click. I couldn't care less if you click on it or not. I, I was just a little bit surprised because I spoke to him yesterday morning, Damien Hardwick, and we had that Did you ring discussion. Did you ring him? No, he rang me, TJ, and it was... It's before he said what he said last night. You yes. Were to, yeah. So that's why I was surprised that after the game he went public with that. But we had a good discussion. It was... Uh, I said to him, look, it was part of an extended chat on a radio show on a Friday morning that would have lasted five minutes. Now, if you go and read the one headline which he would have done and not listen to the whole conversation in its full context, then yes, you could say that that was said for clicks. But... I said champion data had Tim Taranto ranked 120 in, in the game. And if it's still pretty good, like it's still top 15, 20% in the game. He disagreed with it. One of his great strengths is his loyalty and his support for his players, which we've seen for a number of years. And I admire that about him. And it was a, it was a good discussion. But so, OK, so he rings you, this was yesterday morning, was it? So what, a couple of hours before the game, yep. right? So he rings you and, but did he ring you because your criticism had been affecting Taranto or? I don't know. I don't know. He just said, look, um, I, I disagree. I didn't actually know what he was ringing for because he had the stuff during the week with the media as well. Where well, he, what was all that about when uh, he said, say it to my face? I'm not was exactly that directed sure. at you so or I, Carol I, I, or thought, I thought that was what he was ringing about. It wasn't. It was about the, the Tim Taranto comment. I mean, we had a good chat. And in the end, we ended up talking about our families and chatting about that. He's a premiership teammate. He was one of my favourite teammates. I've got so much respect for him. I was just surprised that it's yeah. blown up like this after the conversation we had. I mean, equally, Damien knows what he's doing in that moment too. I mean, his team has not performed all that well this year. I mean, they've mm. only just beaten West Coast after trailing in the third quarter. He knows what him saying that last night about you deflects upon away from what his team isn't doing. No, but they've just come off a win against West against Coast. Against West Coast, shouldn't, 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 yeah. shouldn't that be the narrative? But, but he knows, he knows why the media works. He knows knows that the Kane sledging that he's yeah. now done is going to be picked up by everyone. Yeah, so, and be so, about now. so Dimmer is actually oh, guilty of clickbait himself. I, 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 that's <laughs> what I'm saying right now. I reckon yeah. that's what he's doing. So and he's he, smart enough to know that's how it works. Well, well, I mean, you had your fair share of press, not always great, uh, when you played. Did you ever take it up to anyone per se, like face to face? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I think I did, without naming names, but um, you certainly do um, understand what's being said about you. If, if a player says, oh, I don't read any media, I don't know what's being said about me, uh, they're lying. So uh, sometimes you just got to take it with a grain of salt. Other times you use it as motivation. Sometimes that's the way I would commonly try and use it to, mm. to try and spark me up and give me that extra five or ten percent motivation each week. Is it true that back in the day you had a heavy ring you because there was some criticism from Jay Clark and he offered to go around and play, pay Jay a visit? Yeah, a, a bloke Is you don't want sure knocking want to on the door. <laughs> and he actually rang, I hadn't read the article at this point, and he rang and said, look, Jay, uh, Jay Clark has written an article in the Geelong Advertiser and it doesn't speak too highly of you. Would you like me to go and pay him a visit? So I've saved Jay Clark's kneecaps. Oh, <laughs> I could be in trouble with him, Jay. Just be careful. He's still active, TJ. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't said anything, but I don't, I don't think your kneecaps would take much to break. <laughs> oh, to be honest. Oh, oh, 